11 o'clock Tuesday evening. We're live tonight as usual. Got a couple of cool toys to check out. Then we're going to get into some of the stuff that I'm getting ready to haul to Wichita to the swap meet this weekend. So we'll give everybody a few seconds to get their notifications. Know that we're live and ready to go. At least I hope they're getting the notifications. Like we talked about a few weeks ago, this for some reason, the live stuff on YouTube, they've changed the format and it's kind of a screwed up deal. I had to go back in and do it twice tonight to get it to set up, and I, I hope it's working now um, because the first time I tried to set it up, I got it set up and got ready to go. Then all of a sudden it blipped and said, video's been uploaded, and it wasn't uploading anything, but that's what YouTube thought it was doing. So anyway, either some of this stuff isn't working yet with their new live format, or I'm completely lost because some of this stuff just doesn't add up compared to what they've been doing on lives in the past. So anyway, that being said, we'll go ahead and get rolling tonight. Got a couple of toys to check out to start off with. Then we'll look at a few pieces that are going to the Wichita Swap Meet. As always, any questions, comments, be sure to throw them up there. We'll sure try to catch them as we work through things tonight. So anyway, let's get started. Tweedly D's here. We've got some cool toys that I picked up at actually at a uh, antique show here three or four weeks ago. I got a ton of cool toys last weekend, but we're going to check these out for right now. The first one is kind of a funky little deal. He's kind of a cute little booger. Check this guy out. Hello, everybody. Big jobs here. John's on with us. Check out this little turtle. It is an old, mechanized, all tin toy turtle. Don't know much about it. Doesn't have a maker's mark on it or anything. Norma likes it. But check the bottom of this thing out. Pete's here. Brian Dispatch. Check this guy out. Mark's here. So, springs, gears. I mean, really, you think about it, that's a fairly elaborate <laughs> little toy considering it's basically a palm-sized turtle. So I thought that was kind of a neat little piece. I'm guessing 50s, but still in good shape and a kind of a neat little deal. Peter's here with us. Yep, it's supposed to walk. I don't know how well it'll walk, but... See, it kind of doesn't always want to work cooperate. Jess is here. So anyway, I think something bound up in him or something, but kind of a cute little feller. Now, the next toy we're going to look at, I was really excited about this toy. Really excited about this toy. Bill Wagman's here. This one is cool. I got it. It's trying to get it wound right here. Something's bound up with this one too. <clears throat> no, we don't have a third speed buggy. That is a good guess though. I didn't wind it up very tight. I didn't want it shooting off. There's the Dick Tracy car.
This thing is beautiful and it's awesome and I love it. This is original paint. 1949 marks the dick tracy squad car number one numero uno plastic siren still intact yep it does move I was impressed with the condition. I saw this thing and I just had to have it. No, if it's not for you, number one, it's definitely mine. But it is a beautiful piece. All I did was I buffed this out a little bit with a little bit of rubbing compound and waxed it. All I did to this, it is completely original. This one, you could put a battery in, but what's cool about this is it doesn't even need a battery. <clears throat> now, if you look at these wheels real close, one of them is not like the other. These three are actually wooden wheels and this is a rubber or plastic tire. The way this works, yeah, that's right, it does say number one right on it. David W is here. Is it has a key. So we wind it up a little bit. And then this lever right here makes her go. Flip the lever back. Give her a few cranks with the key. And away she goes. So now you guys can see why I was so geeked about this thing. Condition is great. The paint shiny. The graphics are awesome. Just to give you guys an idea on size, so about it's 11 inch long. So just a little under a foot long. Never tried the battery. And about four inches wide. I got this at an antique show, a local antique show. We'll get to that in a minute, Jess, so. Yeah, it does kind of crank the siren. It's not real prominent, but it does try to make a, si a siren sound as well. We'll crank it up, and if you listen close, there you can hear it. We see the marks symbol on it. This piece is actually dated 1949 right on it. Yeah, maybe the battery lit the siren. That's a good idea too. I've never, never, never thought about that. Maybe the battery was to light the siren up. Never took it apart to look at it that close. But even the battery tray looks, I mean, like brand new. So it hasn't had a battery sitting in it and corroding or anything. So obviously you see why I was pretty excited about that. Both of these came from the same antique show. Um, same place where I got the little Sport Fury promo model from the other night. I got another promo model there. So it was, it was a small antique show, but I was happy with what I got for sure. So anyway, 
Marty be geek too. Yeah, I, there was a lot of comments about that, uh, about the little Dick Tracy car. So now you see why I'm so happy about it because it is a beautiful piece and it's not perfect. It's got a few scuffs and scratches, but I think 74 years old looks like that. I'll take that any day of the week. I don't know what it's, Bill could probably tell us. I would imagine it's 2250, but Bill would be able to tell us. Yeah, Bill says the battery was for that, was for it to, to light up the siren. But, I mean, in this condition, I would guess easily two or two fifty. But Bill would be able to to, confer, to to give us a better idea. Plus, I got you. Know, you guys can't wait to see the toys that I got last weekend when I was out on the road when I was in Missouri. Um, I got another piece that is at least that cool and probably cooler. Eloy made it. Glad Eloy's here tonight. And I don't know. I got so many toys. It was crazy. Tony likes it. I appreciate that. I'm glad you guys are all excited, as excited about it as I was. But man, I got, in fact, I'll probably, after we get off here, I'm probably going to throw up the video from unloading the pickup. Uh, just, I've got so many videos. I've got so much new inventory I haven't showed, just so much other stuff to get up. I'll probably go ahead and throw up the video from unloading the pickup last week. Now, I didn't get into the toys. I'll give you a glimpse of the toys because we're going to get into them on the next several Toy Tuesdays. But I'll probably throw that video up here after we get done. Um, so we can keep things uh, rolling with the inventory. In fact, I picked up two. I bought two more cars today. So, and uh, and uh, perfect, Mark. Appreciate that. Um, so, <laughs> and I still got a whole bunch of stuff we haven't even showed you. But uh, bought a couple. Got, bought two more today. So I was always glad to get that. Anyway, Wichita Swap Meet coming up this weekend. I know Rico and Jess will be there. Uh, Bill says two to two fifty in that condition. About four with the box. So. That's pretty close right in there, what I was thinking. Um, but Wichita Swap Meet Century 2 this weekend. I know Rico and Jess are going to be there. Some of you, a few others of you have talked about it. I don't you know, I haven't heard confirmation one way or the other from some of you, but hope to see some of you there. And uh, I definitely stop and say hi if you are there for sure. But anyway, I'm getting stuff laid out, got some stuff drag, it, drug out laying around here. So we will go ahead and I'll give you a quick glimpse of what I'm working on. Everything's a disaster because I was washing parts, stacking parts, dragging totes out, pricing stuff, sorting into totes. I got a mess. So I'm going to forewarn you, it's a mess. But anyway, we'll take a quick look at it just in case some of you are coming to the swap meet or if there's something you want me to bring you to the swap meet, be sure to let me know because we're running out of time. So anyway, let's go ahead and flip the camera around, take it off the stand and start looking at some stuff. Like I said, I got totes lined up here. Don't throw up on the camera. I'm not planning on it. <laughs> As I'm starting to fill. Old flipper cap. Or actually, new flipper caps. I bought a bunch of caps. There's a bunch of new ones in there. Wisconsin books, radios, spotlights. I got a slug of spotlights. Yep, yes, bring lots of money. Yep, that was your horn ring. It's already in the tub. It is right there. Jess's horn ring from the auction is already loaded. Yep, taking a couple of visors. Chevy truck radios, Ford parts. Don't mail the hubcap yet. Okay, just let me know, big job. I got one set of McDonald's arches I'm going to take. Just all kinds of little knick-knack stuff. Dodge truck grill. Bronco tail panel. Probably take a few cans. I got a whole bunch of these new old reproduction stock Ford window regulators. I got probably 20 or 30 of these I'm going to take. But just getting a good start, finally. Uh, the green visor is, I'm not sure. It is, I think the guy that I bought it from said it came off of a Kaiser, but I'm not sure.
When they invent the ability to beam places and equal North American currency, I'll be out of business. <laughs> but it's a pretty good visor. I didn't take it off. I bought it from another guy, and he, I think he said it was Kaiser, but it's kind of a, I mean, it's just a, obviously center windshield mount and, uh, you know, drip rail clamp. I've got, I don't know, three or four visors in stock right now. I think this is the only two that I'm going to take. But but Chevy pickup radios, those are always tough to find. Starting to get a few cans sorted out. I got some other cans in the truck. I'm going to try to take a few of those five gallons. Uh, the green one, I'm going to price at 450. Plus I always take picture boards full of cars. I got to get those all sorted out and reworked. Uh, 86 C 10 AM radio. I probably got one somewhere. Not in here. I'm not taking any of those with me. That's, uh, 54 Chevy pickup is a pretty rough one and is a pretty tough one to find. Extremely rare. And then the other one, 67 to 72 AM FM. Yep, you can always make me an offer too. The nobody subscriber in person discount. I always try to work with any, any of our regulars anytime I can on price for sure. So, because you guys are what make this thing what it is. So, I always try if I can. But, uh, like I said, I still got a ways to go. I don't take a ton of stuff. All I do is fill the pickup. Uh, fill the back of the pickup with totes. Lay some of the bigger, lighter stuff on top, like some of those grills and whatnot. And uh, I don't go real heavy. It, uh, but, like I said, you know, the thing about swap meets, as most of you know, a lot of times, sometimes that's the only time out of the year you get to see people. There's some people you only see them at a certain swap meet or car show. So that's always fun. The other thing, I've been going to the swap meet for 35 years. 50% um, off. I don't know if it's not quite 50% off, but I always try to work with you if I can. I, I think this is 35 years, seriously. It was the late 80s when the first time we went. Billy Bowman's here. Um, so I think, gosh, I bet this is right at 35 years. Uh, rebuilt 46 Plymouth AM radio be worth? Uh, I don't know, Jess. I've never sold a rebuilt one. I've had some cores I've sold before, but, um, so yeah, holy cow. I hadn't really thought about that, but it has been right at 35 years. Uh, I've never missed one, which is crazy. Uh, even when I worked for Chrysler, um, you know, I would leave Thursday night. Typically, I, I was always on the road for Chrysler, so I would typically come home on th on Friday mornings, but, uh, what I, you know, I, but I couldn't leave on Thursday afternoon, so after I got done at the dealership on Thursday, wherever that may be, I would drive back. I remember one night I drove back from like uh, Lubbock to Wichita, like on the left at six o'clock on Thursday night and got back to Wichita at 11 or 12, so I was there, so... Um, Bill Disc made it, but I really don't think I've ever missed one. And the entire time I've, been, I've made every year, like for like 35 years. So that's another reason I've literally been going so long that I wouldn't know what to do if I didn't go. Rico will be Rico and Jack's dress his first time at Wichita. So, you know what that means, guys? I got to put up with Jess all weekend. Rico's all right. Rico's good to hang out with. I got to deal with Jess all weekend. Oh, jeez. We love you, Jess. I just got to give you a bad time. So, anyway, that's what's going on. Hope to see some of you there. I'm going to get to work, get some more of this stuff loaded up, get to work on my picture boards. I picked up a whole stack of new pictures at Walgreens today. And, uh, and then, um, oh, yeah, and then I bought another truck today that I got to take pictures of tomorrow, get more pictures made, whatever, you're awesome. Just keep telling yourself that. Go with it. But uh, 
1977 at Carlisle, right out of high school. His first Hershey was 82. <laughs> I would have been three in 77. So, <laughs> But that just kind of drives my point home, though. I know when you guys go to when Bill goes to Carlisle and Hershey, I know there's guys he sees there every year, like clockwork. And that's, you know, that's one thing the Internet can never replace. You know, it can do some of it, but it can't replace seeing your friends and, and just taking five or ten minutes and saying hi and things like that. So I'm, we're going back this year, and the other thing about it is you don't know how long some of these are going to last. You never know. Some swap meets are drying up. Some of these events are changing. So that's, uh, that's what happens sometimes. Eric's here. Jess and Rico are great content and fun at the auction. So we'll see if we maybe we'll do some content with them this weekend while we're at the swap meet. So um, actually, we're, still, we're even staying even at the same hotel. I got rooms at the same place for Rico and Jess too. So we'll, maybe, we'll see what happens. I'll see if I can catch, catch Jess doing something stupid. That'd be even funnier. <laughs> but anyway, that's about what I've got for tonight. I think I'm going to get ready to wrap up. I'll keep an eye on comments. If you guys have any other comments or questions, be sure to throw them up there. We'll sure try to address them. Uh, glad you like the toys. The, uh, you know, the little turtle, he's a cute little feller. <laughs> Looks like Jess is already getting primed up to do something stupid. We'll see if we can get it on camera. <laughs> and, of course, the Dick Tracy squad car. I'm going to get back to work. I got a lot of work to do to get ready to be out of here Thursday. Glad you guys stopped by. Jess likes the turtle. <laughs> the turtle is kind of a cute little guy. Do, 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 do. Thrush side pipes, Kenner SSPs, and bazooka bubble gum and popsicle stuff. I don't see much popsicle stuff. I never really thought about popsicle stuff. It's a good point. Something to watch for. Anyway, that being said, I think I'm going to get ready to get back to work. I'm keeping an eye on comments, seeing if you guys have anything else to say before we sign off. As always, I appreciate you swinging by, hanging out. I think I will go ahead and get that video up on unloading the truck last week. So you might check that out, just kind of an extra video to kind of slide in there, just because I need to get some of this content up and out there. Mm, excuse me. I'm going to get to work for the swap meet. Maybe we'll see some of you there. Hopefully we will. If so, maybe we can do a little content with you as well. If not, I'm sure we can corral Jess into helping us out with some stuff. So... Anyway, I'm going to get to work. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you coming by. Sunday night, Sunday night live chat. We'll be back on. I will be back. Uh, I think so. I'll be back sometime Saturday. So we will be good to go on Sunday night. And hope to see everybody then. The tree in the Olds was cool. Yeah, I thought that was kind of neat. That's why I had to get a good shot of the, uh, the tree-powered Oldsmobile. So anyway, thanks for being here tonight. Appreciate everybody stopping by. We will catch you live Sunday night, Sunday live, live, live chat. I may catch some of you at the swap meet, and we may do some live stuff from the swap meet. So stay tuned Friday and Saturday. Me and uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of live stuff on Saturday from the swap meet. So you never know what might happen. Thanks for being here tonight. We will see everybody Sunday night, if not before, if we do something from the swap meet. Thanks for watching, everybody.